frames per second. Oh, oh there's a cat. Oh, what's your cat's name? This is Ripley. Ripley. Oh, right. Yes, yes. Right. <laughs> Lieutenant Ellen Ripley. <laughs> Lieutenant <laughs> Ellen Ripley, Jennifer Garner Keeling. That's her name. Is that yeah? <laughs> full title? <laughs> And then, and then we've got Jonesy. <laughs> Jonesy, <laughs> she's she's the little uh, princess, and he's the trash cat. Oh, you gotta have both. both. You, you gotta, gotta have the whole both. set. Yeah, Jonesy's terrible. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he's a monster. He's my baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know who else is a monster? Who's that? Hey there, everybody. <laughs> okay, welcome back to Pixlet. My name is Kevin. <laughs> With me as always is Phil, Hello. and today joining us on our special episode is Jesse Garasha as we talk about uh, one of the seminal works in film uh, adaptation history. Oh, absolutely. Uh, Super Mario Brothers 1993, not 2023. <laughs> no, we're going 30 years into the past, baby. Oh my yeah. God. It is the 30th anniversary, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, it, they it must sure have lined is. that up, right? Where's, Come on. where's that special edition Blu-ray? <laughs> <laughs> where's that Criterion collection? Yes, exactly. What would the Criterion collection have for this? We're gonna have to think about that one. I feel like this is a lo- yeah. What's the cover? This is, this is stuff that needs to yeah be thought about. Damn it. Yes. So um, Phil and I were like, yeah. Hey, what if we didn't always need to do like a, a, a worlds of power in between series? What if we want to do like a movie one shot? And uh, the answer to that question was uh, Super Mario Brothers, 1993. Uh, and uh, it stars oh, poor, uh, poor John Leguizamo. And, um, and that's Bob the poor Hoskins. one. Thought, what I mean, about they, this cast? I feel more bad about Bob than I do about John Leguizamo. I think that's all right. Yeah, yes. John Leguizamo is <laughs> just getting started. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But they apparently bonded pretty tight over this movie. Oh, that's uh, awesome. Fun fact, little trivia before they would get drunk together be- between uh, oh. takes. Oh. <laughs> that makes perfect sense. That explains so much. Oh. <laughs> why, why not me? I, I would. Do you have any idea? How yeah. much money I would happily give up. I would burn it in my front yard to get drunk with John Leguizamo and the late Bob Hoskins. For real. For real. <laughs> if, you, if, you, if you can throw in smoking a blunt with Dennis Hopper into the mix, then it's going to be an even bigger oh, bonfire of capital. You know he was bumping rails in between takes while those guys were getting drunk. Of course like, he was. Absolutely. He had to have been. He, he had already spent the money they gave him to make this movie on cocaine. <laughs> That man was out of his mind. Oh, yeah. So, uh, before we get into it, the mo- movie was released in 1993. Uh, it was directed by the husband and wife team of Rocky Morton and Annabelle Jankel, which just, they are real people, but those names do sound like they were generated by a Japanese baseball game. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, the default baseball players. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> it really does sound exactly it's, like that. Shortstop yeah. Rocky Morton. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you need a little more buzz and distortion to your voice, but I feel like you could be in the sequel to that for sure. Yeah, like exactly. SNES. RBI Baseball 89. Yep. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Bob Hoskins and John Leguizamo play Mario Mario, Mario and Luigi Mario, <laughs> respectively. Which I feel like the fact that their last name is Mario has carried on actually in the in the lore. I'm has not it? entirely sure. I feel like their last name is supposed to be Mario. Is it really? Um, oh, that's funny. No shot. I'm a little super. Uh, it was a it was a huge flop, and um, you know it scared Nintendo out of doing live action things. Uh, really, in- a lot of, a lot of things until. I mean, Detective Pikachu came out like yeah, was right. it five years ago? Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and that was like, okay, it's if it's good, it we, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here th- here is the confirmation. In 2015, during the Super Mario Brothers 30th Anniversary Festival, uh, Miyamoto uh, confirmed that Mario's full name was indeed Mario Mario. Wow. <laughs> yeah. What I. <laughs> L- lore established by the Super Mario's 1993. Very movie. bad. They didn't make that joke in the new movie. Very upset. Oh my they god! Didn't bring that up. 
Well, it's you a, have to understand. Uh, I I thought when when Kevin said let's do the Super Mario Brothers movie, you're like sure. Um, <laughs> I thought, oh, this is perfect. That'll be a great excuse for both of us to go see that movie and talk about it and all that shit. And um, and I casually mentioned it to him uh, at a later date, and I'm glad I did uh, because he went, no, no, fuck that. We're doing the Bob Hoskins version. Are you crazy? <laughs> It's a version of oh. the podcast where you come in in the middle of the episode and you're like, wait, wait, wait. Have we been talking about the 93 one this whole time? the same thing here? <laughs> <laughs> Which movie are we? Bob Hoskins was in this one. I thought Bob he died. Hoskins. What are you talking about? Good old, good old Bob Hoskins. You know, he, he actually made, he, he was amazing. He, he acted the shit out of this movie, yep. even though he was drunk. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, uh, the, compared to the new one, I mean, the, the first one, this movie, uh, only made like $38 million, uh, in, on, in the initial box office, whereas the new one is at and I'm just gonna 10 go times ahead and, that, it's at I'm 10 just times go, that amount. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and guess that, that this didn't make its money back. Cause they spent some money on this thing. You yeah. can tell for real. <laughs> What was the budget? The budget was $48 million. Oh, and there it we made, go. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. You know what? One thing I'll give this movie, I mean, we'll get into it as we kind of like talk through the, the bits and bobs of the plot. But um, something I'll give this movie is the production designers made choices. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. Absolutely. You took the words out of my mouth. Like, I literally was watching this and going, you know what? And not just the production sh- uh, designer, everybody yep. made, they made choices for this goddamn movie. <laughs> for real. <laughs> there was an effort put into this. Someone you cannot say that they rested on their laurels. Of Mario oh my 1, God. and they were like, well, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Are there any words on the screen? What are we doing? <laughs> like, yeah. What are we doing with this? Like, what are and we then doing with like, this? Yeah. They, 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 they're like, you know what? Give me the production designer from RoboCop. And actually, I should look that up. Who, who the total who recall? The pro- total the recall. Uh, I was thinking the Batman this. Forever. I was thinking big, big Batman Forever. He was giving. He was this. definitely giving some Batman Forever. Yeah. Uh, hold on. Production companies. Yeah. This is. This is. God. This was a huge movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a big deal. It, it was. And and it's 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 a lot. So all right, I'm just pulling up all the cast and crew while I'm David while Snyder um, released the Snyder cut. <laughs> <laughs> Black and white, yeah, baby. Apocalypse is in this one too. The, it was the Blade Runner art director. No. Yep. Blade Runner. Really? <laughs> that makes yep. perfect sense now. Uh, oh my Battlestar God. Galactica. Yeah. Oh, Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey, which I actually find to be superior to uh, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. What is? Oh, okay. What? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Uh, you got. Okay. Uh, Gee, yeah, you got some terminal vlo- demolition man. Oh my god, demolition man what? comes yep. out the same year as oh, this. Oh, that wow. makes a lot of sense. Actually, <laughs> so they must take all like the broken set pieces they had on demolition man, and they were like, "Hey, you guys still need stuff, right?" I think you <laughs> might be right. Actually, <laughs> how much you have left on this? Here, here's the. the just we still the got any? We, uh, we, we still got any leftovers of uh, Wesley Snipes' fake frozen body? Uh, can we use that? <laughs> and- there is so much thought put into this movie uh, in terms of like production design and like elements of. Of, like the cars would be like, well, they're in a dimension where dinosaurs didn't die, so there is no gasoline, so the cars don't run on gas; they run on some weird bumper car ass right. like electric <laughs> grid system. Because they're carts. Because yeah. they're carts. Yes. Carts. Like the yes, Mario they're carts. carts. <laughs> yes. So it's it. It is simultaneously <laughs> very. Oddly clever and yeah. intensely stupid. Like they, they pick and choose what they want to be. Cl- Cause you're right. That's actually a pretty clever idea. The dinosaurs uh, didn't die and turn into oil. That's not something most people are going to watch this movie and pick up on. That is deceptively clever. On the other hand, they also have like tiny dinosaurs instead of rats, which is like, well, we, you could probably yeah, still yeah. just have rats. Why don't, yeah. Like, <laughs> And and why did the dinosaurs evolve to look like ape like primate style humans? And right. um, so many questions. So lots many questions. Of questions. Yeah. Lots, lots of questions, of questions yep. to answer. So uh I'm just gonna do a look let's let's do a quick recap of the plot. The the movie starts out with 
uh, this weird pixelated. It's like they just they did some <laughs> live action like stop motion shit, and then like fuck it, throw like a pixelated filter over top of it. I don't know. <laughs> This so was the only part time. of the movie that I completely forgot about that. I, I didn't know with, this was on here when I, I when I started watching. It again. I saw this movie admittedly years ago, but this part I remember watching because, um, you know, the way that we got this, uh, you can't find it anywhere. So, uh, you know, uh, trace from that what you will. And uh, and I remember looking at it going, is this bullshit? Is this this isn't real? This is somebody's fan cut or something. Like that. <laughs> Somebody on the Internet. This is the secret made, special and, edition. They got like yeah, some special with the, feature with the uh, anonymous Brooklynese uh, narrator uh, <laughs> explaining everything and then disappearing forever. Yeah. Do you is know who Bob that Hoskins? narrator is? No, who it's is not it? Bob Hoskins. It's Homer. It's Dan Castellaneta. It's Dan Castellaneta. Oh! Oh! What? <laughs> it just don't get no better than this. <laughs> like, that's absolutely that's him. Wow. Holy wow. shit. What the of fuck? Of course it is. Of did they want him to is. play Mario, but he didn't want to sign up? <laughs> I like, don't what? know. Why it's did they like, do that? Why did they? So there's this random Brooklyn voice Dan Castellaneta doing, hey, you know, it's <laughs> it's it's Brooklyn 65 hey, million you know, years ago. Hey, <laughs> you know, and Boy, we're all still walking here, even though we're dinosaurs. <laughs> yeah. Come on. It never stops. It never it stops never, walking. Hey, you never stop being here. <laughs> the Big Apple. So, <laughs> the Big Apple. <laughs> The big, the big apple. Uh, so they explain like that the meteor hit and, uh, you know, the dinosaurs, uh, they, they died or did they? Oh, um, yeah. oh, yeah. <laughs> Twist. Uh, and then we cut to uh, uh, the past. It's, it's 20 years ago, 19, 1973. Um, and we have Samantha Mathis doing double duty playing both her se- playing not herself playing both well, uh the the princess and her mother <laughs> in this, yeah. which which oh, like yeah, that's right. m- like i remember even being a kid and being like i thought she was supposed to be daisy like when i when i saw this like because in the trailers i'm like oh that's daisy and then you see this flashback scene you're yeah. like oh that's the girl that's supposed to be daisy <laughs> And yet she's also playing her mother and be like, oh, this doesn't make any sense. <laughs> is her mom supposed this to be does- Peach? What is that about? Why Why Daisy? Why go with Daisy for this? Why go with Daisy for this? Why go with Daisy? Wasn't da- Daisy was introduced she in was Super Mario first- Land. Yes. And that had just come out, I think. Right. But- I feel like that might have had to. I might be blowing this out of my ass. Hold on. Hold on. Super you're, Mario Land. You're getting the hard Mario lore. Right I am. Here. Well, Super Mario Land came out in '89, so it was it was years before then. But yeah, they they it's it's funny because that kind of the naming structure. You know, I think I was an adult when I started noticing everyone calling King Koopa Bowser. Um, right. Sure. You know, and and because we all called him King Koopa growing up, so him being Koopa in this that makes perfect sense to me. And then I read all of these cracked article thought pieces and they're like why don't they call him bowser and i'm like when did we didn't call him did we call him bowser back then was i not part of that crew and then and but then they get like peach instead of you know princess toadstool or whoever and it's like or daisy yeah it's, you know, daisy it's, yeah yeah just okay yeah the ba- they play real fast and loose with the names as we'll find out when uh <laughs> Lan- when lance Henriksen makes his single shot appearance in the movie <laughs> Lance Henriksen, the android bishop, is a, in the, a single shot of the movie as King Bowser, who is the original king of the land. Because yeah. <laughs> I was reading some trivia, I was like, Lance Henriksen met, met his second wife. It was like, Lance Henriksen was in this movie? He shows <laughs> up in the chair at the end, right? And he's like, oh, yes, I love it's those him plumbers. in the chair. <laughs> love those plumbers. Great guys. Glad I gave him the oh, bombs. Oh, what the android, the, f- the android bishop, you know, wakes up from a Wayland Utani nap. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is this is what happens for uh, their their droids in the future are are made out of fungus, <laughs> of course. Yeah. So uh, she's uh, the the queen is running around and she's got a large egg and a rock and she leaves it at an orphanage and the egg hatches into a baby girl. Um, now as, we're in 1993, as as you do, as, as you, you do. do. Yep. That's how all babies it, are born. It, 
and the baby and the baby has like egg placenta on it. <laughs> It, it sure, sure does. does. Yeah, so I've never sure seen does. the movie before. I thought that was Mario right away. I was like, are, <laughs> yeah, are we just, gonna, have we just given up on, I mean, that's a good way to start. We started with the pixelated dinosaur land before time nonsense. We might as well just make Mario come out of an egg. Why not? That, yeah. I wish they had done that to be that completely would be honest. Funnier. That would have been amazing. That's, that's like, that would be like, oh, is this how they, the, the basis of like Super Mario Land 2 where it's like uh, where he's a he's a is it being delivered in a stork or something like that with Luigi <laughs> right, right, right. as a little as a little babu and um, yeah so no it's not Mario um, twenty years later Italian American brothers Mario Mario and Luigi Mario are working as plumbers in Brooklyn and they're close to being driven out of business. Um, so yeah, there's a whole lot of hijinks in these early scenes where, you know, you, you're, we're being introduced to Mario and who he is. And he's a, he's a gruff older, older brother played by, uh, by Bob Hoskins, who I never know what knew was British until oh, yeah. years later, because the Bob Hoskins movies in my mind were, uh, you know, as a kid, it was who framed Roger Rabbit and this. Yep. So yep. He was he was the gruff talking Italian uh, Italian American guy, and he's like he's not even Italian. <laughs> oh, he's he's deeply Cockney. He is yeah. incredibly <laughs> Cockney. I found out from that interview he did, like the behind the scenes featurette for this movie, I believe, where he's like telling the story about how he found out about who Super Mario was. He's like, I got oh, a yeah, job for Super know. Mario, whatever, and he's like, fuck, this is a little video game guy. I used to play King Lear. <laughs> <laughs> like oh this poor guy it's he's making money he doesn't care yeah he's doing fine he's doing great he he he, he shaped uh, a lot of childhood generations like just between this and hook and yeah. oh, uh, hook, uh who right. framed oh, roger hook. rabbit yes yeah. you know like like he he is uh very much an unsung hero <laughs> when it comes to real. younger youth media if you will mm-hmm. uh he's wonderful um, so we're also getting scenes over in this archaeological dig site where this uh, uh, like Italian defamation league character ass oh characters. <laughs> it's amazing. What did he say about Christopher Columbus? <laughs> <laughs> Let me in here. Stop. He's, He's a, a hero in this, this house. <laughs> <laughs> and you're going to show respect. There's so respect. <laughs> I just, I just love having Jesse on to talk about Italian stuff because um, classically Italian you know, man. It, it classically, <laughs> his, he, he's got a, he's got a classically Italian name, and yep. um, and he also he loves uh, the Sopranos. So okay. I think we there can. There you go. <laughs> yep, we're set. That's all we can hope for, really. <laughs> So I think we're really winning on two fronts there. (laughs) (laughs) So there's this guy, Anthony Scapelli, um, uh, the Scolari brothers. Uh, um, That's what I kept thinking every time he said he he keeps saying that. And I had to actually Google it. That's not the name, is it? That's not it. (laughs) Scapelli. Tried him for murder. Gave him the chair. (laughs) Um, (laughs) Oh, now I have to watch that. <sighs> yeah, that it treat yourself to something that is uh 4 years older but looks a thousand percent better. <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah, uh Daisy is running this archaeological dig at this dig site, then Scapelli is is it's blocking one of Scapelli's buildings and Scapelli's like, "Hey, yo, when are you going to be done?" And she's like, well, as long as the judge's order lets us do it. And he's the like, perfect I Carl recommend Weezer, you. By the way, I don't is- think that was on purpose, but that was perfect. <laughs> Pitch perfect. This is, this is Kevin's universal lady voice. <laughs> You're nailing it. <laughs> yeah. My, uh, well, and my voice for my dog is basically um, uh, H. John Benjamin's voice for any time. <laughs> Anytime he's t- he's like voicing an inanimate object on Bob's Burgers. <laughs> oh, they're like, hey, guys. Hey, 
<laughs> hey, <catch> man. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just a little, I'm just a little egg, and we, we don't like her, Bob. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> um, so oh, yeah, Scapelli is like, uh, yeah, you got to get out of here, and. Uh, <laughs> Meatwad shows up. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I murder Scott Crudden. <laughs> this is the oppression cast. I love this. We're getting so much content out of this movie. It's really good. You guys are talented. What are you doing? Uh, You're doing the wrong thing. <laughs> meanwhile, um, uh, Iggy and Spike, uh, who, uh, as we find out later, have just been kidnapping women from Brooklyn uh, for weeks now. Yep. Like, I, I get uh, it. I get what they're going for here, but these guys are told to just look for a woman. She got two arms, two legs, and a head. So they're like, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, and they've only captured five women? It's New York City. <laughs> like, yeah. What do you yeah. <laughs> And there's no hint fine. that these are lizards or anything, because based on how they're talking and what they're doing, you're like, yeah, these are New Yorkers. Got it. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's it's, it's, one. Is one of them supposed to be Pauly Shore? Like, could they not get Pauly Shore? It's, I don't know which one it question. is, but he looks I like think the, I think, cloned I think Richard Edson is always supposed to be him. Right. Uh, and Richard Edson is the guy who was also in Ferris Bueller's Day Off. He plays whenever you need a, oh, uh, yeah. like a low life. Like a he's got perfect bag. low yeah, life. Yeah. He's got, he's got like a, it's like a regular human face that just got stretched vertically in <laughs> yeah. like a character yeah. creator. Yeah. Yeah. It's almost, <laughs> almost like the, uh, the, uh, the, the moon that, uh, McDonald's did for a while. The guy with the moon head. What the moon oh, man? Oh, yeah. 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 McKnight. Uh, Mac tonight. <laughs> Mac Mac tonight. Tonight. That's what it is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The other guy who is supposed to be Polly Shore, I assume, is yeah. Fisher Stevens, uh, aka best known uh, for just uh, putting on a little brown face and playing an Indian guy in Short Circuit. Oh, that, that guy. That's him? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I'm learning I so much. I did not right put now. that together. <laughs> Holy shit. He plays a uh, plays an Indian guy in in Short Circuit. Uh, wow. That's the yeah the breaking news. If in case you didn't know it, the guy from Short Circuit not Indian Fisher Stevens no. with 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 makeup on. Wow! Uh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh God, the eighties. Uh, <laughs> he really just, disappears into just, it though. Come on, <laughs> just doing shit that decade. <laughs> you know, he really yep. disappears into the role. He yeah, really he's, does, yeah, he's he's. Uh, I believe. Do you know it. he um, used to date Michelle Pfeiffer? I believe it. That's wild. I don't know why, but you know, I'm gonna. I'll. I'll. I'll believe it. I'll. I'll. <laughs> I'll, I'll allow it. Yeah. I'll allow it. Good for you, Fisher. <laughs> yeah, good I for guess. you, dude. Uh, suppose. <laughs> suppose. I suppose. Um, so yeah. Anyway, is there's stuff happening on the New York side? Um, and then, uh, Daisy is, uh, trying to make a phone call, uh, to the university to get more secure security to, uh, fight off Scapelli's Goombas. Uh, she doesn't say it, but I think it would have been a nice way to tie the whole package together with, you know, a nice little bow on it. Yep. And that's when she has a meet cute with Luigi, uh, John Linguizamo. And, uh, he turns down a paying job to give her the phone and let her call, make her call to the university. And we have an, uh, uh, an adorable little scene where Mario is like, you know, basically feeding uh, Luigi all the words to say to ask her out. Um, and he's like, oh, I, I would have gotten it eventually. And, and Bob Hoskins is like, hey, you're in rubble. Um, <laughs> <laughs> He just reverts to Cockney rhyming slang. Yep. <laughs> Pretty much. You're you're in Bonnie. You're, you're in Bonnie. <laughs> I don't know, went to went to a Flintstones voice for that one. Oh, Bonnie. It's just the Bonnie. It just makes it come out. It's um so yeah, and then he go they go on a double date and we get to meet Mario's girlfriend. Can we who- talk about what a smoke show she is? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Mario's fucking girl is so hot. Bro, it's, he's, he's I don't got, know what he's it got was big about dick her. energy, man. I don't know how he pulled that off. I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, for real. He just leads her Hoskins. around. Oh, my <laughs> God. It's Bob Hoskins. I think yeah. I think we, we should have expected that, that. Absolutely. Um, Look at that guy. Yeah. 
the the girlfriend was played by uh, Dana Kaminsky, Dana and uh, she was not in a whole lot after this. Um, she was in a lot of random like '80s movies as like secretary or whatever. Um, she was in and Big. Then, what do you well, mean? Her last, yeah, she was in Big uh, as a receptionist. Um, <laughs> yeah, she did not have much of a career, did she? Wow. And then uh, she was, and she was in a single voice of the Wild Thornberries. Um, oh, oh, and, yeah, yeah. A uh, single, single episode, and that's it. So. Uh, but yeah, Dana Kaminsky, you know what? You got some fans. You crushed it as as uh, as Mario's uh, girlfriend. If they were paying any attention to Super Mario lore, uh, her name should have been uh, Paula, right? Yeah, or Pauline. Oh, right. um, Pauline. From, yeah, from Pauline. It should have been Pauline. Yeah, yeah. 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 Is that Donkey um, Kong, right? Yeah. yeah, from Donkey Kong. Yeah, yeah like, that would have been more hilarious. <laughs> like oh yeah pauline got it okay i forgot her name was danielle um, i started this with you guys and i was like yeah his girlfriend's name was pauline <laughs> like, why would it not be <laughs> it would have been a real easy uh uh, uh you know sound edit to make that happen uh okay. to make the right thing happen for this movie which we should <laughs> it didn't um so they go to uh they go Back to the uh, Luigi and uh, Daisy are on a on a little walk, and they're like, "Hey, if you want to break up with me, that's fine." And they're like, "No, I think you're interesting." It's a really weird conversation, and they end up it back is. at the archaeological site. <laughs> sure, yeah, why not? Sure. And they're under the they're walking through the dig site, and then some Scapelli goon, goons just like open up some pipes and they start flooding the excavation site. Um, so they go and they get Mario and we're like, Mario, we need help. And he's like, I'm, I'm on it. Scapelli's there. Ah, ah. <laughs> Scapelli. <laughs> so. I loved uh, Luigi being like, I know what to do. And instead of doing any plumbing, he runs straight yeah. to Mario. Like he doesn't even try to like, <laughs> Impress her by doing anything. He's like, I'm gonna go get yeah. my big brother slash dad slash mom slash uncle slash aunt. <laughs> sure. Their actual their actual relationship is never explicitly stated in the no. movie, and there's actually statements late in that dinner scene that make it more uh, like. It's like at some point he goes, he's like, oh, you're an orphan. I'm an orphan, too. The only person who ever raised me was Mario. We're like, OK, so did are are you both orphans yeah. or did Mario just like were you just like a neighborhood kid that Mario took in? Mario like just what went is to the, the bodega? <laughs> you were sitting in a little basket and he just took you home. Is that what happened? Right. Have a it would, it would at least like explain you? why. It would explain why Luigi's Puerto Rican. Exactly. Like, at least yes, it would give yes. us that. You he know. doesn't know that, though. He spent his whole life thinking no, he's no, Italian, no, but Bob no, knows. Him. It was on the tag. <laughs> <laughs> when I got you, it said Puerto Rican right there. I just didn't want you to know. Yeah. He's Puerto Rican. <laughs> he's Puerto Rican. <laughs> My favorite so. country, Puerto Rico. <laughs> Beautiful people. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> so they, um, so uh, Iggy and Spike, meanwhile, are doing doing their kidnapping, and despite having identified the correct girl earlier, have now identified the wrong girl in Daniela and kidnap her, and th so they kidnap her and. There, are, it all kind of confluences down in the archaeological dig site where there's a portal to another world, um, <laughs> and and they find a little fake like a rock wall where you just kind of jump through it. One of my favorite mo moments of this movie because it's never brought up again is Mario being able to tell where a, the real voice is coming from and not the echo. Oh yeah, because the I, echo, yeah. I thought they were set. I was like, it was like, if this was a competent script, this was setting up for something later in the movie. It's not. Don't worry. This is just a one-off no. scene. <laughs> no. 
This is just a showing that he's smart. It's it's like remind everybody that he's a plumber. You better do that. That wasn't even written. That was like the fourth take. Bob was like tired of doing this bit where he's like, no, we got to go this way. Trust me. He's like, I know pipes. Why not? Yeah, I'm a plumber. <laughs> what else would I know? It's pipes. I pipes am a women. plumber after all. Yeah. <laughs> you know, this movie starts in such a have you either of you seen the new Super Mario Bros movie? No, not yet. No, No. you're not missing that much. Uh, But so the opening of the new one and this one, like the setup is almost exactly the same. There's no like, there's no like dig, (laughs) but like the way they get down to this, like there's a pipe randomly in the bottom of this. It's bizarrely similar. I think the they if they should have had the 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 Brooklyn brass balls (laughs) to just literally. Take this movie, like if Illumination had the balls, they should have just taken this movie and remade it as yes. an animated movie. In- including the weird 9-11 yeah. bit that shows up. The, the weird- <laughs> they should have done that too. Full- they could All finally show what the minions were doing in 2001. We could finally show who they were working that. for. I saw when like the worlds merged for a second. I was like, oh, whoa. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Dude, I, earlier there's that pit where they pan the camera. I guess we'll get to it, but they pan the camera around the building and I was like, that's the Twin Towers. So like, I'm like, yeah, oh, that's no. not great. <laughs> like, oh, oh, no. Boy. What did they oh, know? Oh, boy. <laughs> so, <laughs> so uh, they they get to they get to uh, Dino Hatton, as it was called. Uh, I don't know sure. if it's ever said it said in the movie, but in all the notes about the movie, it's Dino Hatton. Stupid. And they lose track of Daisy, and the rock is stolen first by an old lady, um, who is like, "Man, you need some weapons. Do you guys <laughs> got weapons?" And they're like, "No." And she's like, "Eat on, suck on this, suckers!" And she <laughs> tries <laughs> tries to electrocute them, and then, um. Uh, Big Bertha uh, then takes that old lady and probably snaps her neck by throwing her head first off of the bed. Yeah, oh, she oh, most yeah. definitely yep. kills the shit out of her. <laughs> All the, of her to the judge up. from Legally Blonde killed a killed a bitch. Uh, <laughs> okay. so, that's right. That's totally so, the judge from Legally Blonde. Francesca shit. P. Roberts is the actress. All right, yep. she is the judge from Legally Blonde. She also is a is plays Judge Barnes in one episode of Empire. Uh, she plays uh, she plays Judge Martha Dreyer in one ep- in three episodes of Law and Order L.A. She, well, she plays Judge Judge <laughs> Judge Jenny Hagopian in one episode of Outlaw. She plays Judge Jamie Atkinson in five episodes of Boston Legal. <laughs> she plays Judge Typecast. Doolittle in uh, a, a movie called Love is a Four-Letter Word. After Legally Blonde, she becomes basically typecast as a judge. There's an episode of The, Divi- of the Division. Uh, she's a judge. She's she just <laughs> she's just. Even before Legally Blonde, Allie McBeal, two episodes. Judge Cynthia Harris. That is what? hilarious. Family Law, Judge Janet. Uh, okay, not Judge, but just like constant Judge credits in her. Because so I just strange. clicked on her, I was like, she looks familiar. Yeah. And we're like, oh, yeah. she's been a judge in literally every procedural courtroom <laughs> procedural show. Have you watched a show that has a, a courtroom in it? She was the judge. Trust us. <laughs> yep. yep. <laughs> The but in this, she gets Simpson. to show off her. She she gets yeah. to she gets to show off her her sex appeal in this one. She comes in and <laughs> she basically crushes uh, uh, Mario um, and his and his hopes and his his little Mario um, yeah. and <laughs> and takes the <laughs> takes the stone and uh, then uses the jump boots to get away. The jump boots, which are the just the just. Among the bad things this movie does, the jump boots are probably the worst just because of how broken the physics are on them. Oh, it's so bad. (laughs) It's so bad. There's no like, it's like, it's like a broken motion graphic where it's, it's like, there's supposed to be like an E, it's supposed to like ease out and then ease into a stop. The jump boots are like, it's just like slowly dragging across the yeah. Screen. Yeah. It just it, it looks like they they got someone to stand and hold still and then they just like all right mouse 
click, <laughs> Whee! like just moved them over the screen. They very, it was very Puma man for all of my MST three K fans out there. It's a deeply Puma man. It's, it's that meme of the, of the kid playing trumpet, uh, at the girl, oh, yeah, except the- somebody is in Photoshop <laughs> and, <laughs> and is, is resizing the trumpet to the beat of music. <laughs> yeah. It's that. Um, it's that. It's that. She, she's the bouncer at the boom, boom bar. Um, uh, there's there's a whole bunch of stuff that happens. Um, uh, Koopa puts out like an order for the plumbers, the plumbers to be arrested, and and um, you know Dennis Hopper is really really fucking high for most of this. <laughs> oh my god, um, he's so high. It, it it starts out like all oh, right, Dennis Hopper, he's 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 chewing the scenery, uh, and by about halfway through, you're like, I, I hope he's okay. <laughs> he's, he's, done, he's, he's done too much. No question. It doesn't he's look too, too good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, it's not oh like boy. a Raul Julia situation where you're seeing him in, in uh, street fighter and you're like, yeah, he's just, he's just doing his best. He's doing his best. Right. What he's got and he's nailing it. This I'm like, no, this guy doesn't want to be here, but he has to be. So he's, he's fighting through it. So and he's, yeah, he's, so just, he's just filled with chemicals by the second half of the movie. So he's literally every line is one word. He's just describing what's yeah. on the set and he's just saying monkey. Bomb. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's all they could get out of him. Yep, exactly. Your line Monkey. was actually. <laughs> um so yeah, they they're they uh the Mario brothers are are they meet a uh they're they're walking around and they they see a musician um by the name of Toad. Uh, who is singing about, you know, let's, let's bring down Koopa, you know, let's he basically let's sings the exposition to them. He <laughs> sings the exposition of like what, what uh, everything that's fucking going wrong is. Right. And he, he just sums it up nicely. Um, and then the uh, cops come by and they're like, Hey, Toad, you know, you're not supposed to be singing these songs. You're getting arrested. And they're like, Hey, it's the plumbers. And, and just real good acting here from Bob Hoskins. <laughs> Just at Oscar level, like I never heard of being arrested for being a plumber. What's going yeah. on here? What? How can you, you arrest somebody for plumber? being a plumber? No, because I'm a plumber. <laughs> I can't. Because I'm a hard. I was like, whoa, they're dropping a hard R here with this plumber. What are they trying to get at? What are they? Plumber? Yeah, I don't know if that. I don't know if yeah. we, I don't know if you're allowed to say it that way, <laughs> Mario. Yeah, yeah, come on, <laughs> come on. He was saying plumber. That's our word. Yeah, yeah. Come on. <laughs> 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 but really though they were to- tossing the back of the car it's like yeah this is manhattan man plumber yes. hard r just drop him put him in the back hard r put him in the back walking while plumbing yeah. um <laughs> <laughs> oh that's so good <laughs> my favorite bit in this entire sequence is when they're brought in front of the dude at the at the police station and there's just so much going on in this scene there so, is so much going on <laughs> the guy is at the desk and somebody has their like stiletto high heel on like somebody just like i don't know like a stripper or something has a stiletto high heel just like digging into the guy's shoulder <laughs> it's like oh. it's like they took Every, um, you know, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, like booking area scene from every 80s cop movie you ever saw and just added all of them together. Just smashed them all together. Just, just composited over top it's of each crazy. other. It's <laughs> crazy. Um, yeah, the... <laughs> Yeah. Um, then the, my then there's a the, like in the background. While so this is the Mario 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 Luigi Mario scene. Yeah. And I always thought of it like, oh, it's just this scene. But in just in the periphery of that conversation, on the other side of them, there's a cop breaking a bottle and lunging at a guy <laughs> over <laughs> the counter. <laughs> I gotta look this scene up again. It's it's blurred out of my brain at this point. It's well, they're just that's that's how a lot of the movie is like. There's so many moments like that where if you look in the background, you're like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, that's true. That's true. In the dance scene, when they get in there the first time, there's a guy wearing a Mario costume. I'm like, what? Is, like, he's just straight up dressed yeah. like Mario. Like, what? Is, like, did no one check that before? Oh, whatever. <laughs> Yeah, extras so, come in and whatever you got doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, there's just there, there's just a lot of weird little details thrown in the movie. I forgot to mention one earlier where Spike and Iggy get hot dogs 
and they treat the buns like they're wrappers. So they oh, yeah. peel- <laughs> that's right. They say it's dog. <laughs> <laughs> they peel the they peel the buns off of the hot dog and throw them out the window. That's it's just fun. so much little, sh- so much little shit like that. Um, yeah. So we, uh, so there's there's all this stuff. We get a <laughs> we get a scene where the Mario Brothers meet uh, meet uh, King Koopa for the first time, uh, pretending to be their lawyer. Yeah, um, <laughs> Larry Lazard of Lazard Lazard Conda and Dactyl. Um, <laughs> it goes Conda Dactyl and Cohen, which I feel like <laughs> I was like, like okay, uh, yeah, I guess you know Cohen's a pretty common lawyer name. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sure. sure, why not? Sure. Yeah. Um, and he drops the pretense after like two sentences, and to me, I was like, if in a better version of this movie. We we don't get introduced to like we we would have not seen Dennis Hopper at all yeah. until this scene. Yes, In yeah. A better version of this movie would we would have he seen he would have been like like seemed like a normal down to earth public defender type that was on their side and then screws them and reveals that he is the dastardly King Koopa rather than losing his shit over the stone after question asking them about it once <laughs> it's so completely pointless it, it's like it, it's like they were making it up as they went along and they're like ah i didn't like that idea fuck that idea we're gonna do something else <laughs> you know they kind of were um so basically the script was written and it was written to be a little bit more uh adult oriented and subversive the mm-hmm. original version of the script and they um, they start production and then the studio keeps sending in notes during production to start jamming in all of these things that are more kid friendly. So if <laughs> that's why the movie is like a total, like a real tonal mess, because it's like, this is not appropriate for kids when no. you're watching the movie. It's like this, this, there's just like, there's a, there's a porn theater joke. Yeah. Up in, yeah. in oh, Dino yeah. Uh, right. Yeah. I was a teenage mammal. I was a, I was a teenage X. mammal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I, so I'm uh, like, <laughs> I don't get it. So it's like, and it's referencing a very specific era of Times Square that, you know, if I show like you show it to kids today, they're like, I don't get it. And they're like, right. okay, well you see in time in the 1970s, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and that's the thing that makes so much. I'm so glad you said that because that makes a lot of sense. Uh, because you know, the, in especially nowadays, uh, well, no, not uh, well. No, I'm babbling. Uh, <laughs> you get a lot of media that is ostensibly for kids, but they throw in the little adult jokes and everything like that, uh, right? To, so the parents can have a good time, and there's a level of that that you can appreciate and understand yeah. in just about anything. This went so deep into it at times that I really found myself thinking, I just don't know who this movie is for. Mm-hmm. I really don't know who they're aiming for uh, with the demographic here because it's it's not really for anybody. Nope. Definitely not a kid's no. movie, which feels like the obvious route to go, but like it sure. doesn't even look like Dark Crystal or anything. Like it doesn't look like a kind of scary kid's movie or like a kind yeah. of awkward kid's movie. This is like... I don't know. It's <laughs> what it's like the reverse. It's like an adults movie with a few things in there to, yeah. for like a wink and a nod to the kids. Right. Yeah. Rather exactly. than the, <laughs> rather than the other way around. Like, yeah. That's not I don't think that ever works in the, it, that ratio ever works. <laughs> so, that's so weird. Um, they're brought to the uh, de-evolution chamber. And uh, where they got this technology, no one knows, but they have, uh, Koopa has this, this, this thing that turns, that can evolve people or de-evolve somebody. And to show how it works, he throws Toad in there and turns Toad into a Goomba. Like just, just full on. It's really terrifying when you think about like the identity death that would go along with this, like, like that, that much shrinkage of the brain and all that you know oh, so yeah. toad toad just becomes a, a dumb dumb goomba uh walking around um 
they fight, they fight, uh, they basically try to, they punch Koopa and they get him into the chair and they, they try to de-evolve him. And this kind of plays into the rest of the movie where he's like acting more reptilian or Dennis Hopper was on more cocaine. <laughs> I'm going to go with number two. <laughs> yeah, that would have been, you, you know, you got to hand it to him. If that was on purpose, if they were like, look, he's getting worse and worse. Can we throw in a quick scene where we devolve him a little? That would be actually a little spot of genius. That would be really smart. <laughs> oh, At some point they have him like walking, like with his hands like this, like a T-Rex. And I couldn't help but think to myself, like, that's just Dennis Hopper. That's yeah, yeah. not. He's just feeding. That has no nothing way to do they with direct the, him to the scene. That. They didn't write that down. Oh. <laughs> yeah. At one point, there's just like entire takes where uh, Dennis Hopper started pr- thinking he was in blue velvet. Um, <laughs> <laughs> at one good. point, at one point, he pushes over a Goomba and yells, Heineken, fuck that shit. <laughs> Paps Blue Ribbon. <laughs> That'll be in the Snyder Cut. That'll be in the Snyder Cut. That has to be. It better be. That's in the Snyder Cut. It's the um, only Snyder Cut that I'm going to push for in my entire life. <laughs> so, uh, the the Mario's and hey, the Mario's hey. they they escape and they're running off into the desert. Uh, and it seems like the 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 fungus is helping them, but Mario doesn't believe it. Ah, leave leave it alone, Luigi. It's it's a fungus. It's ah, uh, um. Uh, Koopa uh, punishes Iggy and Spike for their idiocy by evolving them further so that they are super smart now and will be better to 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 find the Marios. I would like to say uh, Iggy and Spike become super based and start talking about <laughs> communism. <laughs> yes. Like communist yeah, they theory. Do. Yeah, they start pushing against the, the, the dictatorship. They start and pushing against yeah, the dictatorship. Like they want the proletariat yeah, to about, rise up, and I'm like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I like yeah, these they, they like They like call King Koopa like a, a, a you know, a fighter of the proletariat or something yeah. like that. Like, it's, it's, it's. It's ridiculous. Start calling oh, him beautiful. a Maoist. I'm like, why are they saying this? Like, where, right? where, where are they? Where did they get that from? Where they, they? I want to see Dinosaur they, Mao. I want to see him now. <laughs> oh, bring me Dinosaur Mao. <laughs> bring me bike. Dino Mao. <laughs> That's like that. That would be like a, a, a an '80s like a lost '80s '90s kids cartoon where <laughs> it, it's just it's like Red Scare movie. Like. G, uh-huh. G. I. G. I. Joe versus Dino Mao. <laughs> Where's that play set? I would have bought the shit out of that. Instead of little sparrows, you've got little raptors. It's just, there's, it's waiting to be happening. <laughs> Dino Mal happening. kidnaps and turns, uh, I don't know, gridiron into a, <laughs> into oh, a double no. agent. That's, that's the, I don't know why that's the perfect choice, but it is. Well, gridiron was an American football player, right. so you wouldn't question him. Until he started spouting that dino dino propaganda. <laughs> <laughs> We've lost the plot. Um, Iggy and Spike, uh, Iggy and Spike, despite being super smart, are still super dumb. So they yep. somehow managed to drive one of their carts into the quicksand while Mario and Luigi are running through the desert. Um, and there they strike a deal. They're like, all right, fine. If you get us the necklace, we'll get you Daisy and we're going to overthrow Koopa and all that stuff. Now they're working together. Um, meanwhile, uh, Daisy meets Yoshi. Oh <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah. As soon as it came out, I was like, oh, that's that gotta a, be Yoshi. That's cute. That, that was a great puppet. That was yeah, an amazing. That was really good. Yeah. 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 I think they actually did a good job with that one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yoshi's yeah. pretty cute. Yeah, um, there, there's just so much that happens in the, the next bunch of sequences, but they go to the Boom Boom Bar to get that stone back from Big Bertha, and uh-huh. they're wearing these, like, yellow and red, you know, suits that apparently belong to Iggy and Spike's wife, ex-wives or something like that. Yeah, I was, I wouldn't, that was very unclear what the hell they were talking about there. It was yeah. just... And like, do you guys wear these? And they say, yeah, we wear them every time we have a date. And we're like, you wear them? They belong to your, yeah, I mean, ex-wives I'm, outfits that I'm you off. wear to go on dates. 
Yeah. I'm, you know, and I'm, I'm all for, uh, you know, some, some based gender nonconforming, uh, <laughs> Uh, communists in my, yeah. Yeah, 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 works, in, in my movie. Yeah. I just, I just don't understand what I'm, what they're saying. In yeah. No, I literally don't know what you mean when you put those words together in a sequence. <laughs> I just don't know what you mean. But the, but, and your wives also happen to be uh, perfect, perfect stand-ins for Bob Hoskins. Yeah. Your wife is exactly Bob Hoskins sized. <laughs> Like Your wife is enough. one Bob Hoskins. Yeah. <laughs> no, no judgment. No judgment. Hey, whatever you like, whatever you like, that's fine. It's just like, yeah. wow, how perfect. <laughs> yeah, how that perfect. just worked out yeah. real nice. It's, it's all. I mean, there, there's very few people in Bob Hoskins shaped. Like, <laughs> no, it's true. Uh, Short and stuff. <laughs> Bob Hoskins himself is very lucky. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, not, not even Joe Pesci. Joe Pesci was never wide enough. For, he no. was, yeah, he was, exactly. he had the, the height and the attitude, but he didn't have the broadness, um, to, to really pull off a of Hoskins. No. Yeah. Um, so, uh, they're at the, they're at the club. Uh, Mario does a real sensual dance with big Bertha, um, <laughs> he gets right and in gets there. the stone back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He gets in there. He, uh, he, he bites does. that stone. And she doesn't think anything about it because no, <laughs> she doesn't think it'd be like, yeah, he's essentially sucking on my necklace. Yeah, his face is right in my cleavage. That's who, who has yeah. it? <laughs> who has it? Totally different uh, uh, in, in, in that area. That's, yeah. that's, yeah, that's fine. Eventually uh, one character who I've not talked about at all, because I don't really understand her in this movie is uh, Lena. Yeah, who is yeah, yeah. Koopa's wife? Uh, um, yeah. Yeah. I guess. Sort of. I guess. R- love interest. Um, she shows up with the Goombas to get the stone and the Mario Brothers, and then Big Bertha saves them by holding off the Goombas and and giving them the jump boots. And uh, Iggy and Spike are arrested again. Um, for their communist rabble rousing, uh, there's a there is a cut scene. Apparently, there's a deleted scene in which they rap oh, about no. the why would you overthrow cut that? of. Why would you cut that? It's 1993. Wait, about that the is the peak of, of white what? people. Sorry. The overthrow of, of King of Koopa. Koopa. Oh man! Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh, no, 1993. That is the that is the peak of white people discovering that they could rap in a movie. <laughs> um, well. Not that they could, that they could get away with. Yeah, it. <laughs> the, the, uh, that they yeah. could do. That, the, yeah, the discovery period of yeah. the, it, it's, it was the uh, is the Christopher Columbus era of white yes. people and rap music. <laughs> really, honestly, it's perfect analogy. Perfect. Yeah, Res- responsible for almost as many deaths. Yes, uh, just, just awful. <laughs> just, just you know, Vanilla Ice was was oh. was kicking and. And, uh, he was indeed. His, he his, was indeed. His kicking. feet up in the air while Suge Knight was holding him over a balcony. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> that happened, right? Suge Knight. That Suge absolutely Knight. Oh. happened. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> oh Jesus! Um, so yeah, they're gonna. Uh, all right. So God, this. The, I'm looking at this outline, and like the movie is like. There's like, there's like, oh, these like f- these beats happen up until this point, and then suddenly all these action sequences bri- break out of like, yeah, people are fucking going places and and the things. Um, so there's a lot of a lot of little chase sequences. Um, uh, Daisy tries to escape from. She's in the the she's in like escapes from the room that she's in, and she runs into Toad. Uh, because earlier she had asked Toad to bring her a plate of steamed vegetables. Um, <laughs> and they, uh, they uh, Toad and uh, helps Iggy and Spike and Daisy escape because they run into Iggy and Spike. Uh, Toad gets set on fire. Daisy puts him out. It's, there's a lot of, there's a lot of stuff. A lot of um, shit going on. A lot of shit going on. Um, they, uh, Mario starts to believe in the fungus a little bit more as the fungus saves him when he falls into a bottomless pit. I love that Mario's character development is basically faith. He has to, he has to believe believe. believe. in in the fungus. He's an Italian American, lapsed Catholic, and we all know that there's only one path back and that's 
uh, back to the church. Former yeah, altar boy, altar Mario, boy. Mario. Yep, yep. <laughs> he was singing. <laughs> Absolutely, he was singing. Sure. He had those. He had them pipes. Oh um, yeah. Oh hey. Uh, hey. Hey. Yeah. Hey, look at this um, guy. Hey, look at you with the shirt and the hair and the face. By the way, <laughs> there is. <laughs> <laughs> there is um I'm when you the score to this movie feels like it was pieced together from like the score like cut scores from back to the future like mm. it was like it was it was like um I forget the the guy who did uh, uh back to the future but it was like he was like putting together a score for back to the future it's like ah nah that sucks and then this guy came in and it's like a it's like a relatively notable uh, composer. Um, it, was it Michael Kamen? I don't know. No, oh no, Silvestri, Alan Silvestri. That's right. Yeah, yeah. It feels like Alan Silvestri uh, B sides. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Honestly, though, I mean, you're kind of right because actually most of this movie feels like leftovers from other yep. movies from Stop 1993. Yeah. You know yeah. what's funny is I didn't even stop to check the goddamn composer of this movie because it's Alan Silvestri. Uh, <laughs> that's even better. But it sounds like he just didn't even try. Yeah, like he just, yeah, it this is just like, old songs he had lying like around. Yeah, Alan Silvestri hey. just grabbed whatever he had lying around from other movies hey. and jammed it into this uh, one. <laughs> hungover Alan Silvestri is still better than like sober most people. So oh, yeah. it's, it's yeah, fine. It's, it's fine. fine. I, I think it's funny though, because there would be these ri- random quotes and uh, late motifs from like, so there's, there's a song called Tarantella Napolitana that gets like randomly folded into one of the tracks during a car chase scene. I mean, like, it's like this, a uh, very common like Italian song you'd hear it on like a fucking Olive Garden commercial, <laughs> and you suddenly hear you hear it like da na 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 and oh, that's yeah, the right, right, right. Yeah. That is the extent of it. Yeah. Koopa, uh, eventually Koopa finds, uh, uh, captures Luigi and Daisy. He orders uh, preparations for an invasion of Earth. Uh, Lena attempts her escape. Um, and who is, she's caught by police chief, takes the meteorite shard from her. Uh, Mario locates the Goomba barracks, defeats the guards and sides, and saves his girlfriend. Um Pauline is saved along with all the other Brooklyn girls. <laughs> all the Brooklyn girls. All the Brooklyn girls. One of, one of them's from Queens, yeah, but she's gonna, okay. Yeah, yeah, she's all right. She could stay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Real quick, because you brought up Lena again. I forgot to mention it before. I, I do think we need to recognize that Lena, this random ass Mrs. Koopa character, I guess, is being played by Royal Shakespeare Company theatrical veteran and Tony Award winning Fiona Shaw. Bob Hoskins. Uh, yeah. Hey man, do you, you, you need work? Yeah. You looking for something to do? Come on yeah. in. <laughs> Fiona! Fiona, come over here. We got Mike a movie. Harry Potter's not You're going to be yet. electrical shot. Come on. Twice. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be great. <laughs> come on. <laughs> Come on, Fiona. Um, so Fiona Shaw, <laughs> yes, does play Lena, who is just like the the Mrs. Koopa and is just kind of angrily in the background in, all, in most shots uh, feature. And every time uh, Dennis Hopper tells her something, she sometimes she does a little like weird snaky move with her head. It's a very um, Baz Luhrmann kind of thing. Like they, they speed her up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. It's weird. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like Baz Luhrmann could have directed this. Uh, oh, sure. 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 It would have yeah. been. <laughs> sure. Sure. You know, yeah. I, it, yeah, it would have, it would have been inexplicably nominated for an Oscar. Uh, despite the fact that it was a piece of garbage. <laughs> Ooh, burn. Ooh. <laughs> Baz Luhrmann burn. Do you hear me, Baz? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. Shots fired, you Australian <laughs> piece of shit. <laughs> I don't know why I've decided he's my enemy now. Yeah. <laughs> I just I just really hated Elvis, that's all. <laughs> Come on, man. 
movie sucked. <laughs> what do you mean? Austin Butler was killing He's it. He's white. No. Oh, he was awful. <laughs> He's he was white. awful. <laughs> yeah. He's white. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, That's man. all the movie is. God. That's just scene, a, I've watched a, that couple million Tom Hanks. times. <laughs> God, <laughs> cutting to Tom Hanks saying he's, he's white. white. He's white. Oh, <laughs> I'm trying my best. Tom, Tom Hanks like doing his yeah, yeah, <laughs> weird Dutch Colonel Sanders penguin. I don't know what that character was. It was a mess. <laughs> the penguin. <laughs> he totally is. That's totally what it is. It's a mess. Oh God, which penguin though? There's uh, Colin Farrell so penguin. The Colin Farrell penguin. <laughs> that's, that's, that's an insult to Colin Farrell's penguin. <laughs> to even oh no, I'm sure <laughs> Colin Farrell was pissed when he saw it. I would be. I would have been furiated. I mean, there's a reason they're making it a, a TV show based on Colin Farrell's penguin. No, they canceled yeah. it, didn't they? Did oh, they, they canceled oh, it? Oh, oh, that I was the that. only I, part of that movie I liked. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I need to double check. Oh, I would have watched. Show. Oh, that's Spin a- off. That, no, come on. That's a bummer. Clancy Brown's supposed to be in that it? That is a bummer. Didn't they cancel it? I don't know. Clancy like... Brown was supposed to be in it? Yeah. Oh, what a bummer. Clancy Brown. Anything at time you get Clancy Maybe Brown not. involved. Maybe I'm Clancy wrong. Clancy Brown uh, rules, man. I'm not Clancy seeing Brown cancellation. Rules. Clancy Brown is the best part of, he's the best part of Highlander. And I'm, 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 I mean, clearly he's the best part of Highlander. He's the best part of that robot game. That uh, uh what's Detroit his become fuck human. Made? Yeah, yeah. He's he's <laughs> Detroit become oh, yeah. human. The yeah. only good person, good thing in that game is Clancy Brown. He's so good. <laughs> oh yeah, him and Connor are great. In that. He's, he's amazing. amazing. Everything he's he, in. every time I see him, I'm like, Mr. He's Krabs, great. he's killing it. He's doing such a good job. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's wonderful. I love that guy. Um, so uh, yeah, just fast forward a little bit. Lena eventually <laughs> gets the she gets the meteorite back, and she tries to merge the dimensions. She plugs it in, and I guess she just doesn't have the power. Uh, and she she fucking turn, gets gets like electrocuted and thrown into the wall and embedded in the wall as a skeleton. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what what is what does Luigi say at that point, John? She Lincoln's makes like, quite an impression. So good, <laughs> so good. He nails it. Uh, and then, as if in response, her jaw just drops. <laughs> it's, yeah. Do they do like the, a sad trumpet when that happens? I feel like there's like yeah, a they should have. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, something they like should that. Have. Yeah, yeah. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Koopa and Mario were like fighting. Uh, they get transported to the other dimension for a real quick, you know. And we get wait, the, wait. we get a nice in the, in the midst of the fight when when Bob Hoskins and and uh, and Dennis Hopper are fighting on this catwalk. <laughs> Bob Hoskins prepares a bomb. Finally, the whole movie is set oh, up. Oh, it's bomb. beautiful! He's, he's been waiting we to finally get a bomb. It. He sets it up. Yep. You see him turn it, and the, and then our good friend Dennis Hopper leans into the camera. Dramatic lighting. Ba bomb. Ba bomb. Ba bomb. <laughs> 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 And then the babam immediately falls through. This is actually one of the best misdirects in the entire movie. Yeah, it's good. Is the babam falls through the grate down uh, through like all these pipes or whatever, like and it Goldberg just like machine. keeps. It's yeah. like Rube Goldberg, and it just like keeps going. And it then we cut away and we forget about it. And like, okay, they've established a babam is just wandering around somewhere. Great, we're it. We're back in New York City now, and um, uh, Scapelli. Uh, one of the, the third Scolari brother comes out of his limo and he's like, ah, what's going on here? Um, and, and Koopa's like, we're doing a Koopa 9-11. And he points to the twin <laughs> Dude, you can't say that. You can't say Koopa 9-11, that's bad. <laughs> they live sorry, in, they sorry, live in sorry. the desert. Bowser 9-11. Yeah, thank you. Come on. Please respect the culture. Holy shit. <laughs> A second. <laughs> Jack Black, what are you doing? Have some respect, fucker. <laughs> a, a second lackey two has hit the tower. No! Oh, fuck! No! Oh! <laughs> I don't know shit. if I'm going to keep that or cut that out. No, if, you, if you cut it, that's in the special patreon.com oh, slash pixel, yeah. baby. <laughs> Give us a dollar a month and you can hear that joke. Oh, Jesus. 
she's so Pauline Kelly sitting there in a, in, a, in a kindergarten, and somebody leans in to whisper that to her. Oh, yeah. shit, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The new Donk Trade Tower has been. <laughs> oh, no. oh, God. Oh. <laughs> so, uh,. Scapelli gets out of the limo and he's like, hey, what are you guys doing? And then Koopa shoots a D a Devo gun um, at him <laughs> and called, turns right? him into a, 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 a yeah. It turns him into a chimp. And uh he goes, ha ha ha, monkey. Yeah, <laughs> monkey, monkey, <laughs> monkey. And, and, and the Devo guns Scapelli- are super scopes, aren't they? They're SNES super yes, scopes. Yes, they're just repainted super yeah, like, scopes. So they totally are. <laughs> It's wonderful. Oh. It's a wonderful little Easter egg. Yeah. If you're not going to include almost anything from uh, the actual Nintendo oeuvre, they might as well include something like that. Yeah. It's beautiful. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> yeah. Daniela then notes that the World Trade Center has moved with, merged with Koopa Tower. Great. Um, <laughs> oh, fuck. Um, <laughs> so, they, they, meanwhile, what happened Luigi to Koopa and Tower Daisy 7? Over- what happened? <laughs> Cooper <laughs> <laughs> Koopa Tower Truthers uh, show up. Uh, <laughs> Koopa Koopa Trutha. <laughs> Koopa Trutha. <laughs> What's that 9-11 documentary? Loose change. What do they call the money in this? Yeah, coupons or change. whatever the hell. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> loose coupons. <laughs> loose loose gold coins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> loose, gold. <laughs> loose blue stars. <laughs> oh my god. Listen. <laughs> I'm going to cut this out, but uh, Listen, fire, let's hear, let's hear. Fire, fire flower fireballs cannot melt steam. Oh, no. <laughs> Listen, guys, I just want you to know it's going to be a lot of fun hanging out with you in hell later. Uh, it's going <laughs> to It's fine. It's I was already going. Nice. It's not a big deal. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah exactly. Just, I'm already going away. Yeah. Listen, this, this was always going there. Um, yeah. We, we, <laughs> this movie um, was always going there. Um so yeah, they uh, the Luigi and Daisy get the the thing out. The the universes demerge. Uh, the bomb uh, is still walking. Yes. <laughs> um, they uh, then Mario de evolves Koopa with the Koopa gun with the Devo gun. And turns him into T Rex. Oh no, that's bad. Oh, that's, that's probably worse than Dennis Hopper. Yeah, probably. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, and then uh, let's see. Then they Devo him again and turn him into uh, slime. Um, so, oh yeah, the bomb explodes beneath Koopa, throws him into a, a little like coal bin that carrier. Cool. That's yeah. when they. Do- the vat of coal. That's when they devo him and they hit him also, twice the bomb and they turn him into just when it's under him. You can see the shoes. What what does the bomb have on? Reeboks. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Why not? Reebok exists in this Why universe have- for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> for yeah. some reason. <laughs> the one consistency of, of evolution, no matter what. If it's whether it's monkeys we evolved from gonna or be lizards, a Reebok. there's always a Reebok. <laughs> so it's always a Reebok, it's always a Hatton <laughs> town for some reason. Why not? Sure, pizza oh, places. Jesus. They still made pizza yeah. in Dino Hatton. Absolutely. They still make pizza. Yeah. Uh so yeah, and Koopa is destroyed. Um, well, destroyed. I don't know. If you could re evolve him from that puddle of slime. I guess. Uh, I guess. I guess. Uh, in a jar. Yeah. Yeah, put them in a jar. It's like um, the end of the remake of the Blob. I just got a piece of oh, yeah. Koopa glop. Yeah, glop. glop. Uh, they glop. re-evolve the king um, in a shot somehow that there's nobody else in there no in the room. Um, Love those. And Lance, Lance Henriksen, uh, the android bishop, goes ah, plumbers. I love those plumbers. Uh, what take, the fuck was up with that cameo? <laughs> Give me so $20,000. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> they, this, this movie had a hell of a cast. I guarantee you they spent too much money to have him in there. Oh, yeah. Uh, sure. If, if he's a smart man, and I, hap- I happen to believe he is, uh, <laughs> he asked for a lot of money. Hey, Lance Henriksen, you know, he's still kicking. He yep. uh, he was just in one of my favorite. You know, it's funny is I forgot to put it on my game of the year last year, last year, but he was in one of my favorite games of the year last year in um, what's it? The uh, is it the quarry? 
Um, oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 right. You really did spend a lot of time with the quarry. I it's a fun, it's, it's a good, fun game. Right? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. He, he, and he played a he played a neat redneck character in it, and a, a full on Appalachian uh, uh, type. In he's that. good for that stuff, like pumpkin head stuff like that. He's great. He's, he's yeah. He can do blue collar pretty well. So they uh, they leave. Daisy's like, oh, I gotta stay, and the Mario and Luigi's like, oh, but I love you, and she's like, I love you too, but I gotta figure out my life here, etc. We got to two weeks later. Um, uh, Daniela is making. Uh, dinner, dinner's ready, and, and they're all at Mario's place. And Luigi's, you know, they're they're ready to eat a family dinner. And then, oh no, who opens the door? But uh, Daisy, and she's like, "You're not gonna believe this." And it looks like her clothes are like semi burned or whatever. And then we get cut to smash, cut to Super Mario Brothers movie over. Yeah, but it, but that scene <laughs> completes Bob's arc of becoming a believer. It can, because he's like, he's right. a believer. He says, I believe. And, and uh, like, was almost like, you I believe, you believe? it. He's like, I'm a, be- I'm a believer. I believe. I'm a believer. I'll do it now. I'm I believe in the, I believe in Velociraptor Christ. Yeah. And <laughs> that's, my, that's my boy. There we go. We go way back. I believe in the Father. <laughs> <laughs> the Holy the Egg. The Holy, yep. the the holy Egg. The Holy Egg. Amen. Amen. Um, so, ah, uh, Lizard. Um, <laughs> So yeah, that that so, so. What do you guys think of the movie? What's your overall prevailing thoughts of Super Mario Brothers nineteen ninety three? Uh, Jesse, you are the guest. I will let you go first. Uh, I mean, my experience have... with with night. What, what do I have? Ten seconds. Okay. Uh, uh, it was solid. Good <laughs> movie. Uh, liked it. No. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't have a ton of experience with nineties um, movies that are based on like adaptations that are based on video games. I think the only other one I've seen is the street fighter movie. Um, but I feel like all the movies from that period of time that are trying to capture this impossible to understand thing of video games before they had plots, before they had like the manual was kind of the only way you understood what anything was in the world. You're like, Oh, that's a pookie or whatever in the game. You're like, sure. Yeah. Everyone loves pookie. Uh, and they try to make a, <laughs> a, an hour and a half movie out of it. I feel like this is kind of what you would get if you just like went back in time and gave the 90s Super Mario Bros. Now even like this is just the interpretation right, yeah. you would get. Uh, I thought, you know, I, there's nothing going on. It's, it's a dumb movie with a, like a barely a plot, but, you know, it looks funny. Dennis Hopper's having a great time. I love Bob Hoskins and everything. Yeah. So no complaints there. I, I don't know. I didn't hate it. I liked it as much as I liked the current Super Mario Bros. movie, which again, <laughs> oh, this and that. Now that's interesting. Dude, the new one is not, it's not a good movie. It is a fun movie, right. objectively. If you are a Super Mario Bros. fan, you're going to have a great time. It's But it's like a roller coaster. I, I hate to do that Scorsese right. thing, but it is literally like you're just on a theme park ride for Mario Bros. Where this yeah. isn't. This kind of feels like a really shitty theme park. This feels like a dive bar version of a theme park for Super <laughs> this, Mario this Bros. This feels like action park. Um, yeah, the- <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This feels like Cartman's version of a theme park for the Super Mario right. Bros. That's what you would get. The really worn down wooden roller coasters that dislocate your shoulder when you take the turn too fast. Yep. And oh uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I went to Hershey I, Park. Yeah, you remember <laughs> Hershey Park? Yeah, it'd be Her- Hershey Park fun. You, you've uh, been to Hershey Park, right? <laughs> You, you lived oh, yeah. in Pennsylvania long enough I lived, to have gone to Hershey Park. I lived Park. 45 minutes south of it. I absolutely <laughs> went to Hershey Park. Um, yeah, I actually, I totally agree with Jesse on, on a lot of that, Where especially where I haven't seen the new Super Mario Brothers movie, but the complaints that I've seen about it all amount to the same thing, where it's just like, this is just what movies are now. They're kind of a product. They're, they don't take any chances. There's not, It's fun, but there's nothing. It's candy. There's yeah. no nutritional yeah. value to it. It's sweet and it's sugary. And uh, and and then you're done. And no, I, I kind of love this movie. I, <laughs> I, I, it's, it's goofy, man. It's funny. It's having fun I, with itself. I, it's a bad movie. Yes. It is a objectively bad movie. But it's like that old writing um, adage of uh, if the audience leaves 
uh, loving your work, then you did your job. And if they love hate, if they leave hating your work, you've done your job. It's only when they're bored and they have nothing to say that you failed. And this movie made choices. <laughs> like it made strong, strong choices. And some of them were horrible and wrong, uh, but they were, they were choices. And they were made. Yes, they were made. And, and that's the thing. It's like, I never understood the, um, I've always said that I never understood the so bad. It's good thing that so many people seem to be into uh, with things like the room and birdemic and movies like that. I hate those movies. Yeah. I genuinely, I can't enjoy them. And, um, and I, I, and, and watching this made me think, you know what? Maybe it isn't that I don't enjoy campy bad movies. It's that it has to be one where the person who made it actually fucking tried. Like they were trying yes. to make a good movie here. They failed so flat on their face that they broke their nose. Uh, uh, but it, it, but it, they tried. Uh, and, and there was so there's a, a lot of effort, <laughs> a lot of effort. Misplaced, and I, but yeah. <laughs> mis exactly misplaced but yeah I, I and i and i laughed my absolute dick off uh when uh dennis hopper uh casually uh said uh where's my pizza yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> he orders a pizza earlier the scene it's like se several scenes earlier he's like yeah he's like giving these orders like where's my pizza he gets a call about <laughs> it. Like, remembers his pizza not now <laughs> Not now. Yeah. It's a great it's little gag. Yeah. I laughed my ass off. I thought it was great. Uh, Mario's girlfriend is a smoke show. Uh, 10 out of 10. <laughs> 10 out of 10. 10, um, out of 10. Yeah, I agree. I agree with everything uh, y'all said. It's it's funny because it, it's supposed to be a five-week production. took 17 weeks to do, um, wow. and, which is a long time. For like a live action movie, 17 weeks is a long production cycle. That is long, um, yeah. Bob Hoskins, uh, for Bob Hoskins, it was the biggest regret of his life is, is appearing <laughs> in this movie. Um, Poor Bob. <laughs> I mentioned earlier that him and John Leguizamo would get drunk between takes in order to actually like deal with the fact that they were in this movie. Sure. Uh, Bob uh, broke his finger in an uh, early scene in the movie when John Leguizamo uh, closes a van door, it closed in one take it closed on bob hoskins hand broke his oh, finger no. oh. bob was in the rest of the movie you can there's actually a cast on the the finger painted to look skin tone <laughs> to match his skin tone <laughs> so awesome. that you can't tell that his finger is in a cast that's so good that's um, funny bob hoskins in what at one point said something like um uh, he was, uh, he, I broke a, when asked about the movies, like, well, it was a, it was a terrible shoot. Uh, I broke a finger. I was, uh, stabbed twice and nearly electrocuted. And that was just me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. we love you. Um, yeah, they, yeah, that was, uh, that was in, uh, and in John Leguizamo's autobiography, he he actually confirms the they got drunk <laughs> between take I story. Love that. <laughs> um, Ugh. Yeah, Shigeru, Shigeru Miyamoto, to his credit, actually says something like, uh, "He he thought it was still a fun movie that it would have been better had they just." D leaned in more to the ideas that they were doing rather than shoehorning any of the re like the gamey stuff into it. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, he's like, I, I is like, I thought they just should have leaned into the, the weird shit that they were doing basically. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it, it would have been better. 100%. Um, yeah. Less, and, less, uh, uh, fan service and, yeah. and more yeah, just, just, uh, yeah. just, just get, get weird. Like, and it was like, okay, Miyamoto said, get, get weirder with it, which yeah. is weird because I feel like ultimately I haven't seen the new Mario brothers movie from what I understand is in exceedingly safe. <laughs> every every edge is sanded well, it off. Is. It's like a, the nerf ball of nerf balls. I don't know how they did it, but it's, it's a beautifully, <laughs> it's like a mirror sheen ball. I don't know. It's, it's very it's good. It's like when you take, it's Amazing. yeah. When you take uh like Reynolds wrap aluminum foil and turn it you into a ball going. and then yeah, like, yeah, you hammer it. And, and you just keep going and then you put a, put it up against the sander. Eventually it'll turn yeah. like into a, into a mirror ball. Um, yeah. Yeah, so uh, half hour of footage was cut to give the movie a proper running time. This 
cuts included, an extended co- sequence of Koopa chasing Daisy's mother in New York, uh, which featured him gazing admiringly at the buildings, which would later inspire his warped construction project in Dino Hatton. Mm, um, that would have made so, so much more sense. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. So the reason why, yeah, the reason why Dino Hatton looks like Manhattan is because of that scene. Um, there was, you know, more alternate scenes. There was another sequence. The de-evolution chamber was initially, uh, sequence was longer. Uh, one of the t- technicians gets e- devolved into slime, which you can actually see. There's, yeah, uh, they there's trip randomly on it, right? there's like a puddle of, yeah, there's a puddle of green slime on the ground. Oh. That's from a cut. That's from a cut portion of that sequence, um, where they show if you kept you just keep de evolving somebody, they turn into slime, mm. um, which would have set up yeah, you know, the, yeah. the the bit later where he turns into slime. Sounds like yep. they cut the wrong things and kept the wrong. Yeah, because <laughs> it was not a short movie. Yeah. I mean, it was not a. It wasn't three hours long, but it was not short. Uh, so. According to John Linquizamo, the filmmakers hired actual strippers for the nightclub scene. Oh, uh, nice. Michael Sex Keaton positive. was approached to play Koopa, but he passed on the role. Oh, uh, good for you. Man, that would have been a way different movie. <laughs> a very yeah. different movie. <laughs> Holy shit. Just, just Michael Keaton bringing Beetlejuice energy to yeah, the Koopa dude. role? Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Maybe it would have been the same movie, actually. I take it back. <laughs> never, never mind. <laughs> uh, maybe. Yeah, maybe we're uh, talking about the same fucking movie. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> At one point, same. John Linguizamo was drunk, uh, wandered out into the street, was hit by a car, and broke his leg. Uh, and in some shots, you can see him wearing a cast. Um, <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I think the process of making this film probably cut about six months off of their lifespans <laughs> and it was probably worth it. Yep. So, uh, you know, who before, before uh, Rocky Morton and Anna Jenkel were approached or signed on one of the filmmakers that they tried to get involved was Harold Ramis. <gasps> uh, oh. Who I have a feeling would have had a better grasp on the concepts. <laughs> yeah. I I don't know what to think about that, but I would have loved to have seen that. Oh my god! I would have loved to have seen it, but I yeah. wouldn't have loved to have seen it if it meant he didn't make Groundhog Day. Well, no, I, that's Groundhog Day is still the movie that like that anytime I'm thinking about what's that? Is that also 93 Groundhog Day? I think so. Yeah, it is. Wow. Yeah, I think okay. it was. Yeah. Yeah. No, that that's that's. That's one of those movies that whenever I'm writing a script or something, I think to myself, if I can make a movie, if I can make a script a quarter as good as Groundhog Day, then I've succeeded. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, no, that wouldn't have been worth the skip. <laughs> no, no, it wouldn't. Um, yeah. A whole bunch of other uh, other other bits of trivia. Uh, but <laughs> I my favorite my still the the most random thing is Dan Castellaneta doing the Italian yeah, that's so fun. Uh, American Hilarious. voice in the beginning like they like they may, I, I have a feeling they added that later and Bob Hoskins what they're like oh no we can't ask Bob this is after no, they back. stabbed him twice <laughs> yeah. and electrocuted him a bunch and they were like, yeah, well, we have, <laughs> he's not going to come back and, and do anything for us we have taken <laughs> all that we can take from that poor man <laughs> he's like hey let's get let's get Homer to do it and yes yeah. uh Dan has never turned anything down. I never. don't think. <laughs> never. Oh God. Um, so yeah. It, it, any other thoughts before we we wrap this up on on SMB ninety three? No, uh, going once. Uh, Leguizamo makes a joke Twice. about how they did a bad job because it was a non union job on on some of the plumbing. In a building, and loved I that. supported the fuck out of that. Thank you for yep, being yep, a love classic. that. Base, there are some, <laughs> there are some base Ludo. takes in this, yep. in, in this, in this movie. Some, um, some beautiful leftist propaganda yes, popping up. Beautiful Very leftist. Nice. Once, in, once in Iggy and Spike uh, get evolved, and they can, they can quote Karl Marx uh, <laughs> on the spot. They are, they are, they're gigabrain Chad uh, evolution. <laughs> I like that. That's the implication for evolution. For, for it really is. Evolving isn't it? past yeah. is becoming a leftist in this movie, which is like, uh, yeah, I'm for it. I'm uh, for it. Yeah. Can't argue with that. Uh, 
Jesse, do you have, uh, thank you so much for being on tonight. Uh, Do you have anything to plug? Uh, yeah, you can follow me on Twitter if it's still uh, around by the time this goes out. Uh, it's just at Garasha, <laughs> G-U-A-R-A-S-C-I-A. You can also head over to patreon.com slash noclip to support noclip so I keep getting paid for doing work for them. That'd be great. Thank you. <laughs> and you can catch uh, Jesse on the Noclip podcast where he he uh, offers his, his uh, sonorous tones, uh, giving takes on on random things that they talk about. From week to week, <laughs> Jesse is 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 Jesse our uh, 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 most frequent collaborator on this show? I think he's he's come back the most often. Yeah, I think you're. Yeah, I think this is uh, <laughs> yeah. nice. This will, be your fourth, this will be your fourth episode. Total. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Because yeah, the, the Metal the Gear Metal episode Gear, got yeah. spl- gets split into two. Yeah, and then uh, we did an episode. Uh, we did a you and I yeah, did Street a filler Fire. episode. When, well, with yep. the Street Fighter, the movie. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Wow. Um, so that'll do it for tonight's episode. If you can, please follow us on Twitter at Pixlet Pod and Instagram at Pixlet Pod. Go to our website, pixletpod.com, where you can sign up for our newsletter, join our Discord, and all that fun stuff. You can even download the transcripts from every episode. Listen, I know they're automated, but they're better than nothing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we're going to be talking about a book that, um, is, I don't know. It's, it's, uh, it's a, just prepare yourselves for the next series, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentle thems, and those of you who have defeated gender in (laughs) single combat, look forward to our next series, uh, which is going to be on, uh, Gabriel Knight, Sins of the Father, coming at you starting next week. It's a book, all right. Um, it's a book. Say, yeah, say hi, hi to Ripley. Ripley. Yeah. All hi, right. Ripley. Good night, everybody. Bye.